um, I'm cold, okay? I'm super cold because it's freezing, it's raining, but I'm not gonna complain because um, the tile guys are here today. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. And I think we're gonna get a bunch of rain. And I'll tell you, in, in California, you never complain about rain. You just don't. I'm really very, um, I say this every time, but I'm really excited about today's presentation because, well, we'll get into who Gala, I'm going to say Gala Grotto is in a little bit, but probably only a few of you are aware of her work. And Lilo got an interview with her at Houston. So always when I do one of these presentations, I've got the interview and I go and I look at the stuff that, the, the I go to the person's website and I it, it took my breath away. But while we wait for people to load on, uh, I just got some fun things to show you. You know, I always try and find a joke or something like that. So let's see. Hey, everybody. I like this one. <laughs> this is my new girlfriend, Kristen. She's a model. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's another one. Bad news, <laughs> bad news, Nick. You tested positive for COVID. Have you traveled anywhere in the last 24 hours? <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm so, I thought it was so funny. I choked myself. But anyways, Tammy's helping me through this kitchen construction. She is a designer. And she knows this industry inside and out, so she's keeping me spot on, and and the contractor, and and we've become friends. And her mom knew my mom. She was at my dad's goodbye party and all that. But she gave an elf on a shelf to a mom who has a three-year-old who's turning three. This she said in a week. But anyways, um, the things the mom has been doing are so clever. So like, this is one of them. Um, can you help me decorate? And, and she's, this mom is knocking herself out to do really fun things. So, so the little boy loves dinosaurs, loves dinosaurs. All right. That was one of William's things too, at exactly that age. So <laughs> So the elf got in trouble. <laughs> Made a sleigh with dinosaurs pulling it. And the kid woke up and just lost his mind crying. He, he took my dinosaurs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just love stuff like that. My daughter, she goes, I'm, I'm, I never let my kids, I was not going to start that at all. And one other thing before we start looking at Gala's um, work, I want to tell you that I got a call from a gentleman up in, um, I think Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. He bought his wife one of my dad's quilt frames, and and this isn't exactly how it works when you put it together, but his wife never used it, and she passed. And so he, I said, I would just put the word out, all right? He, again, he lives up in Eureka. Let's see that again, not Ukiah, Eureka. And the problem in, uh, these are beautifully made. My dad made them. They're out of hard rock maple. And it's designed around closet rods so that, it's for hand quilting, of course, so that you don't have to have these things sticking out like this. You can get the right length closet rods, and then the, the frame goes to whatever width you want it to be. But also the other thing that's really neat is, um, now if these are sticking out, that's not going to work. But if you get them the right the right size, and I could help you how to do it if you want it. Um, you can swing this front leg up, and then it pushes against the wall. So if you're up in that area, and you want to connect with um, what's his name, Brian, uh, email me, and I'll hook you guys up. I don't know. I, I I don't know what the terms are. I don't know if he's giving it away. I don't know what. But these were lovingly made, okay? And you would email me at A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-S-N 
at gmail. And also, if you're intending or you're, somebody's intending to buy you a Bernina over the next couple days, get hold of me before because I can still mail you that coupon where you get a $100 rebate from corporate Bernina. It has nothing to do with the dealer um, that you're buying it from. It's a, it's a separate in incentive from Bernina. Again, the same email, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-S-N at Gmail. All right. So, oh, you know, I heard, I heard, I heard about Gala from Lilo. Okay. And uh, Gala does not speak English, but her exhibit was stealing the show at Houston. So when I got the recording, you can hear the, you can hear them in there. When I got the recording, I'm very taken with her quilts. I mean, very taken. Um, but then I went to her website and started looking at her artwork because she is a multidisciplined artist, all right? And I think, I can't remember if it says it in the piece or not, but Lilo mentioned that she even kind of got started doing murals on, on, on walls, but she does it all. And in fact, on her website, there's very little about quilting. So let's take a look-see at her work because I think it will give you a profound understanding of the depth of creativity and skill that she has. Okay, so this is, you come to her website and you see this. And I have no idea what that medium is. I have no idea, but I think she can just do darn near anything. So then on the front page, and you can see it's all up there in French, I believe. She's actually speaking in Russian, and it's being re, uh, interpreted by a Russian interpreter. So we'll get into that in the piece. Um, here's the second one that pops up after that. Uh, this takes, I, I, it takes my breath away. I don't, I don't even really, truly know how to respond to this. This is absolutely not indicative of her work, okay? So, here we go. This is starting to kind of look like her work. Um, this is painted, I'm you know, pretty sure. I, I, I don't know the medium. I'm, I really can't tell, you know, is it acrylic? Is it oil? Is it pastel? I mean, I don't know but it's just beautiful. I got, I got lost in her website, all right? Totally got lost. And another interesting thing was so many of these works were like 40 by 40. And to me, that feels very, very Russian. Of course, I had to put this one in. <laughs> Of course I did. Oh my gosh. I miss my cat. I miss my cat so much. I can't stand it. Oh, even though she made me mad. <laughs> I guess it's like kids, right? This would, wouldn't this be pastel, you guys, if you were a betting person? Wouldn't it be pastels? I, I'm showing you the breadth of her work and there's a Hun on her website. She does do a lot of women and um, she does do a lot of nude women and they're very abstract and stylistic. I chose this one to share with you because it takes my breath away. I mean, this woman has chops, you know? This one's a little bit longer, 40 by 50. I think with some of her work, you could go up and say, oh, that is of her. But then other pieces, you might go, whoa, 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 where'd that come from? Look at how beautiful. Look how beautiful. And and now I could, I'm kind of seeing... Um, the the way her, the style of quilting kind of breathe through the whole thing and apparently the students at Houston just lost their minds over her and it was the talk of the quilt exhibits 
any of these would happily, happily hang in my house. Okay, here we go. I had to smile when I saw this one because, you know, Ricky just got done with his, or is working on his one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I know he didn't see this, but, you know, great minds, right? Super fun. Beautiful. Perfect. I mean, perfect. Okay. Her, her brain is just amazing. By the looks of it, that's the year 2000, I think, at the bottom. And then I thought that this was an appropriate, appropriate one to end on, on looking at her other artwork because it is um, the birth of Jesus, which I think is just absolutely beautiful for this time frame. Now you look at this, okay, this is a quilt, people. This is a quilt. So you can kind of see how the influence, let me go down here just for grins and see what pops up. No, not that one. You can kind of see the rhyme and reason. Okay, and then let's go back up to this one. You can see the connection between them. So anyways, we do have an interpreter. Uh, Lilo asked questions. It, it is just give yourself a little bit of time to you know listen through. And I think, I think, I know you will be as impressed as I am was, am, the whole nine yards. So let's take a look. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Hi, we're on the floor at the Houston Quilt Show and we are with Gala Grotto, who's from France, with her translator, Natasha who is here and we are gonna learn about these amazing quilts in this exhibition that we are seeing a little bit of right now. So let's learn a bit, little bit about Gala. Natasha is here to, to help translate, as I mentioned. Немножко, расскажи немножко о себе. Я Гала Грота. Я Гала Грота. Я родилась в России. She was born in Russia. Жила 20 лет на Украине. 20 years she spent in Ukraine. И теперь живу во Франции. And now she lives in France and works. И в Америку я приехала в первый раз. And that's her first time in US. And you're also teaching here. You've got a class that everybody's loving and hoping that you're going to come and teach again because you have amazing work to share. Ты также здесь давала мастер-класс, и надеюсь, всем понравилось, и многие хотят ещё провести мастер-класс с тобой. Это одно из моих любимых занятий. That is one of her favorite things to do master classes. Я очень люблю общаться с людьми. She loves people and communicating and teaching them. И мне нравится процесс, когда люди приходят, и они не знают, что у них получится в результате. А когда они уходят счастливые, вместе с ними и я счастлива. So she likes them, uh, when people come to her class, it's a mystery always. They don't know what they're going to come, uh, come out of the class with. And when they see the finished product, they're really excited and makes her really, really happy. После мастер-класса я получила master class, много вопросов, буду ли я еще давать, то есть я вижу огромный интерес. She, she got many questions if uh, she gonna teach again, and uh, so next time she definitely gonna do more master classes in Houston. That sounds marvelous. Well, let's learn a little bit Очень about хорошо. Gala herself and how she came Она to producing these Она хочет узнать больше о тебе и как ты пришла к um, <coughs> quilting. Я профессиональный художник. Я закончила, закончила два института. И she по, graduated two university, art universities. И по специальности я дизайнер. And she is interior designer and also um, landscape architect. Я много лет занималась монументальной живописью, росписью. Many years she was painting uh, with different media. И поэтому я очень любила делать работы большого размера. And she like uh, to work on a big scale. И однажды, когда я задумала серию, которая мне не хотелось сделать в живописи, я искала другой материал. 
And w once uh, she had an idea for a big series of paintings, but she couldn't use uh, any of the media that she was familiar with, so she decided to use fabric. А моя мама очень много шила, и у нас дома было много всяких разных тряпочек. So her mom used to sew a lot, and they they had a lot of fabric at home, little scraps of fabric. So she decided to play with those scraps and created her work. И свою первую серию я шила без знаний, как это вообще делается. And her first series, which was 12 uh, quilts, uh, she really didn't have any background in sewing or in making quilts. А потом я стала участвовать на выставках, смотреть, как работают другие мастера, и это очень хороший институт тоже. Uh, then she actually offered her, her work to museums and they was uh, overwhelmed with her creativity and then she started learning about um, other quilters and how it's done properly and she mastered her uh, work. And that is very evident when we look at, yeah, for example, видно. this quilt here. Например, с от, с the skill картины. and craftsmanship is bar none. Uh, and so... талант показывается в каждом кусочке. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this one. Расскажи the young woman with the bird картине. nest or the Молодая bird cage женщина. on her head. What is this symbolizing? Um, эта работа, обычно я работаю с мифологическими персонажами, Usually либо... work with mythology um, characters. Uh -huh. Эту историю я придумала сама. But this she um, created herself. Когда начался ковид, и нам всем не хватало свободы, мы были заперты в своих домах. When COVID hit, we all stayed home, um, away from our friends and families. Каждый персонаж у меня, это, в принципе, какая-то часть меня там. Every um, person, uh, every picture has part of her. И все, что я чувствовала в этот момент, and я all все the туда вместила. She put into her quilts too. Well, and also the birdcage you said represents how we were all stuck at home. И клетка означает, что как мы были все дома закрыты, да? Это абсолютно и плюс птица это символ свободы и клетка открыта. Is a symbol of freedom. То же самое, это символ свободы и очень много домиков на этой работе. Cage has open door, so uh, the bird can fly out. И совершенно нет других людей, потому что они все там спрятались. And if you see, there's the little houses all over the quilt, uh, but you don't see any other people, and all the doors closed because we're all in stuck inside. Uh, еще есть маленький нюанс. Я сделала эту работу в розово-зеленом такой гармонии. She, she made this quilt in pink and green, which is very different to what she's doing. И это первый раз было, когда я использовала такое сочетание. Это очень для меня стрессово было. It's the first time she combined those two colors, and she was really worried how it's gonna look because it's different from her other work. Но я постаралась сделать так, чтобы это было красиво. But she really tried to make it beautiful. Well, it's absolutely lovely. Let's go look at another piece of yours. Очень красиво. Давайте посмотрим на другие работы. Well, here we are standing by Heavenly Woman, which is a stunning example of the work that she's doing. I did ask, do you work in commercial fabrics or do you collect fabrics from thrift stores? Where do you get your source of fabrics? Где ты свои ткани берешь? Ты покупаешь их, ищешь их на всяких маркетах или ты сама их делаешь? В основном большинство тканей это которые я сама окрашиваю. Совершенно разными способами. Это может быть красители для тканей очень много разных. Либо акрилик. Is she dying specifically for a project, or does she die and just has a stash? Ты красишь специально для каждого проекта, или у тебя есть много тканей одинаково раскрашенной, ты используешь в разных проектах? Когда у меня есть настроение вот похулиганить, то я могу покрасить очень много разных тканей. If she feel really adventurous, she can paint a lot, a lot of dye, a lot of fabrics, and just have them ready. Либо специально покрасить к какому-то проекту. Or she can work just individually with each product. So tell us a little bit about this quilt. Расскажи немножко об этом quilt. 
Обычно э, желание сделать какой-то персонаж возникает либо я натолкнулся на какую-то историю интересную, э, либо... Book, or... либо это может быть просто сказанная кем-то фраза. Однажды я слушала интервью с Йоко Оно, женой Джона Леннона, которая сказала такую and фразу, said, что небесные люди — это люди, которые выше уровня земли. И эта фраза так меня тронула, что я очень, как бы, я очень представляю зрительно сразу. И вот несколько, некоторое время эта женщина небесная меня преследовала. Перед тем, как ты делаешь свой квилл, ты рисуешь его, да? Ты делаешь разрисовку. Я делаю очень детальный рисунок со всеми. Обычно потом я делаю мало поправок, но бывает. And very little. So once she does her drawing, she only does it once. Usually she doesn't have to fix it. So she has her ideas set. То есть, как бы процесс творческий с линией, мой контакт с линией, он в рисунке, а потом, когда я делаю текстильную работу, это уже идет контакт с цветом. So whenever she draw it on a paper, it's all by lines. She follow lines, and then she transfers those lines into fabric, and in fabric she play with colors. So she turn lines into colors. So it's a it's a black and white drawing. Черно-белый рисунок сначала. Да. Yes, it я is black люблю, and white. Когда есть, я не люблю, когда есть уже цвет, потому что он мне мешает. If she, she likes to draw black and white, otherwise it distracts her from uh, the second idea, you know, it's to bring the color into the quilt. Well, it's, it's wonderful. So, not only do you dye your own fabric, but you also work with unusual fabrics. Не только ты красишь свою so like ткань, ты тоже um, используешь разную ткань uh, в своих проектах. To look at another quilt, Мы посмотрим на другой квилт. Okay, now here we're standing next to a quilt with obviously parrots on it. It's called Parrot is a Bird of Paradise. But tell me what makes this different than the other quilt fabric that you have in the exhibition um, as your background fabric. Okay, сейчас мы чуть перед uh, um, этими попугаями. Расскажи нам, как она отличается от других картин твоей uh, выставки. Когда зритель смотрит выставку, он видит картинки. When uh, viewer looking at her quilts, they just see a pictures in На самом quilts. деле для меня каждая работа это какой-то эксперимент. But behind every picture there is different meaning, different experiments for her. И в данной работе эксперимент то, что я work, попробовала соединить мебельную ткань с катоном. And in this work her experiment was playing with different kind of fabrics and she used upholstery fabric as her background and then she added different fabrics on top. Now did the piece start was it inspired by the upholstery fabric? Or was it that she happened to have some как that was going ты, with this theme already? Как ты решила такую комбинацию, комбинацию сделать? Что тебе к этому привело? Ты увидела это мебельную фабрик где-то и решила, что будет хороший квилт или идеи у тебя другие были? <coughs> Мне подарили кусочек ткани. Someone такой. was gifted. Uh, she got a gift, um, a piece of fabric. Мне он очень понравился. And she really liked it. Мотиву, uh, the color думала, and texture. Как его использовать? And uh, right away she starts thinking uh, how to introduce that fabric into quilt. И потом пришла идея, собственно говоря, персонаж здесь, женщина, это никто. Это может быть я. So the woman here doesn't have much meaning. So it can be Gala, she said. She doesn't put much meaning into the woman in this uh, quilt. А главные герои здесь попугаи, которые символизируют uh, птицу счастья. And parrots are the main characters in this uh, quilt uh, because they, are, uh, they bring happiness. There are a lot of 
uh, different stories about parrots. Um, uh, so that's my, my main um, characters on this quilt. Well, it's, it's it's absolutely lovely um, to красиво. see and. Uh, I know that everybody is also fascinated with хотят, the uh, diverse quilting that she's doing. It's uh, not just method, one pattern around, it's a variety of patterns that really make the texture really stand out. My technique is application with a folded edge. Her technique is a applique with a folded edges. It's really time-consuming, but it's very easy. It's not difficult. <laughs> and, that's what she, and that's what she's telling to her students in a master class. It's really easy to do. And they are laughing because it's not, it's not easy. And does she sew on a domestic sewing machine on a table, or does she have a long arm? What does she sew She has She used only one sewing machine for the past 10 years, and the name of the... Uh, she has a Husqvarna machine that she sews yes. with, a domestic. Yes. Well, it's absolutely fabulous. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bella, for sharing your amazing work, Спасибо, your amazing story. Работами, and story. the quilts are just stunning. Uh, I hope many people can see your work and take a class with you их. at another quilt show. Many people would like to take a class with you in the future. Спасибо большое. Я Thank you so much. I got some amazing emotions. The emotions are overwhelming. И я надеюсь, что я сюда вернусь, может быть, с какой-то новой работой поучаствую and в she, конкурсе. She really hopes she's gonna come back here with a new uh, collection, and she really hopes she can uh, participate in a, um, uh, not, uh, teaching and um, competition. In comp oh, in competition. Yes. И, конечно, дам мастер-классы. Of and course, of course competition is vital, yes. И, конечно, комп... <laughs> ты должна выиграть что-то, обязательно. Надо к этому стремиться всегда. Uh, say you, you always have to aim to for the best and for um, for challenges. Well, thank you all very much. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip around, um, looking at some of these wonderful things. John just walked in and goes, look at those curves. Her, her work is astonishing. And Lilo said all of the students were just thrilled with the class. I'm hoping we can do something with her down the road. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Now, as far as her selling her work, I don't know, but I did.
Well, I think she does because if you go to her website, Gala Grotto, it will um, take you to different areas. And I think some said like private collection and stuff like that. The other thing that I thought was interesting in looking at this, and you might want to go back if you've got your little color wheel. So I always wonder how someone who is that graceful, accomplished, etc. How does she look at color? And this was here from Monday's thing, you know? And I would look at a quilt and I go, okay, wh what is the color combination? What is the color combination? And in, in, in her work, she has, I mean, I know I, I know she's not looking at a color wheel because she doesn't need one, but it helped me understand kind of what is going on. So, Gala, thank you so, so, so much. All right. Before we say bye-bye on um, Monday, I was wrong. Dee is going to be on this Saturday. Yes, she is. She is a trooper. And um, I will be back next Wednesday with a thing with Cynthia England. If you're not familiar with Cynthia England's work, um, I went to her webpage. You know, I'm uh, okay, I just need to say this too, and I'm glad I remembered it. When I look at what we just presented to you from Gala, I don't think any of this would have been really possible before the internet, you know? And, and, and while... And while, yes, there are some disadvantages that we have to be on the internet, the advantages way outweigh any disadvantage. And one of the things the internet is doing is connecting us globally as creatives. Uh, and, and just like that, just like that, you guys can get off and Google Gala, Gala Grotto and boom, you're in her world, okay? So next Wednesday, and I, I know her, we've done a show with her, Cynthia England, um, I pulled this up, this is on the front page of her web, and I almost started crying because I have such an affinity for boats, but then this is another piece of hers too, and we got, she has a special exhibit, and we got a great interview with her too. I'm so grateful that... Um, that everybody that we are on the net and this and okay i just got distracted okay what's her website let me go back to this okay gala grotto gala grotto that's all you're gonna have to put in and you will get right there and then just go you know surf around a little bit okay are we guys good for that gala grotto if you can't remember, go back and replay this, and we, I don't even know, we're probably 10 minutes in, all right? Okay, so I, I got to do a last minute push for you, for your benefit, all right? Uh, at the, you know how at thequiltshow.com, we, uh, I don't, the word isn't lease, license a quilt for a year that when you are a paid member at $49 a year with total access to everything, you also get our block of the month. So this year we're wrapping it up with Sarah Filkey and I I've I've I bought Barbara's. <laughs> I gotta get it quilted, but I bought Barbara Black's. And then this next year is Jen Kingwills pick a petal. And if I just think these quilts are so joyous, they're both Aussies, all right? If you are not a member. Well, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk twofold. If you are a member, make sure you go and get Sarah Filkey's uh, pattern. We've got it. Mary Kay's put it all in one area before the end of the year because then it goes bye bye and it goes back to her, and then she will sell it independently. I'm quite confident. If you've never been a member, now is the time to do it because you can get both. You will get Homeward Bound. And again, you can go download the whole darn thing. And then in 2024, we will start Pick a Petal. And then remember, it's 49 bucks a year. That's it. And then you have access to all these shows at your fingertips. Okay. And actually, you know, I don't, I, I watch the shows because when I'm hosting, my mind is worried about other things going on. You know, I do have next year's quilt right here so you can see how vibrant and beautiful it is we also uh, have kits left 
Merry Christmas to you. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, Kristen did a knockout job of pulling these fabrics together. They're not all, they're not exactly what's in the quilt because she did pick from her own stuff. But also in the quilt are uh, these threads that go with the whole thing. So, so if you were to go to our store, you'd have the opportunity to buy all this. I think you can get, I know you can buy this. And then also the templates. And the reason you care about the templates, and Barbara Black was just like, all oh, you just need the templates, just buy them. And we got more in. Because you get into some of this uh, more intricate piecing, and the templates will help you cut the fabric and get everything exactly right. So Barbara's going to take it through us this year again. Very excited about that. Uh, a lot of people are wrapping up things right now, and so I'm trying to wrap this up. <laughs> so please go check it out. I don't know. I honestly don't know the status of quantities, but if you've been thinking about it, don't don't mess with it. It's time to get going. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me during this busy, busy season. Please feel free to pass these interviews on to people because there's too much goodness that we have gotten there at Houston that people really need to be aware of. And somebody asked last time, am I going to do the gnome as a project? And the answer is yes, the little wool gnome. I don't have Facebook. Um, would I still be able to go through the classes? Yes, I believe those are housed on the site and or it's on, uh, we have a lot of stuff on YouTube too, okay? Yeah, you are, not, you are not married to Facebook on here at all. I wonder, are you watching, you must be watching this on YouTube is what, I'm, is what I am thinking, Lindy. Okay, okay. Have a lovely holiday, wonderful season and I know a lot of you might not be with any family this, um, or uh, like for us, we're homeless, although Robin's going to, Robin's making it so we're not homeless because the kids are having to go other sides, to other places. It's fine. You, you, when your kids get married, you share. We're going to give you a little holiday treat, treat that we'll be announcing on, I think, Christmas Eve. So while you're sewing away, we've got a little gift for you that you can maybe watch. All right, so Merry Christmas, yes, to our small connected world. Bye-bye, see you next Wednesday.